Taylor Swift is at the peak of her career, the singer has been nominated by Time magazine as Person of the Year in 2023, Swift accepted an interview with Time, where she opened up about her music career and, for the first time, shared with the media about her passionate love for NFL superstar Travis Kelsey. Taylor Swift answered the question many people asked about Kelsey's love life. Recently, Travis Kelsey also watched and congratulated his girlfriend when she was nominated for Person of the Year 2023. Kelsey had an adorable and celebratory reaction to Taylor when he found out the singer publicly talked about their relationship. Kelsey was surprised their private stories are now public. But the NFL superstar isn't angry about it at all, Travis felt grateful that Swift shared about the couple's first date, which showed that the singer loved him very much and also proved that they were respecting each other in love, Kelsey was happy about that and also expressed his feelings when Taylor appeared and supported him in NFL matches. Kelsey shared that he felt full of strength when she appeared and that was why. Due to making him play better than ever. The pop superstar opened up to Time magazine about her love, never before seen details of her relationship with NFL superstar Travis Kelsey. The couple began their relationship on Kelsey's podcast, so you've heard about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, from the media, from the fans, from the NFL, from Kelsey on his own podcast. And now, finally, we're hearing about it from Swift too. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell, she told Time. Fans of Swift may have known that Kelsey shouted out to Swift on his New Heights podcast over the summer, after he attended her era's tour stop in Kansas City and attempted to give her his phone number to no avail. What's new here is Swift confirming when, exactly, they started seeing each other, we started hanging out right after that, she said. So we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for, because we got to get to know each other. By the time I went to that first game, we were a couple. I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game? We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date. Swift further opened up about the ways they support each other publicly, Swift attending various Chiefs games since the start of the NFL season, both in Kansas City and on the road, and Kelsey traveling overseas to Argentina to see her heiress show in Buenos Aires. When you say a relationship is public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves, we're showing up for each other, other people are there and we don't care," she said. The opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone. And we're just proud of each other. The NFL this season has leaned into the power of Swift and her fans' allegiance to her, cutting to the superstar in between plays and drives up the field. She was spotted in various moments with Kelsey's mom, Donna Kelsey, and sometimes with her famous friends. The October 1st matchup between the Chiefs and the New York Jets, with Swift in attendance, was the second most watched NFL game of 2023 after the Super Bowl. Speaking to Time, Swift was cheeky reacting to the media frenzy. I don't know how they know what suite I'm in, she said. There's a camera, like, a half mile away, and you don't know where it is and you have no idea when the camera is putting you in the broadcast, so I don't know if I'm being shown 17 times or once. I'm just there to support Travis," she added. I have no awareness of if I'm being shown too much and pissing off a few dads, brads, and chads. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey don't say much about their relationship in public, but the pop culture superstar made a slight exception as part of her interview after being named Time's Person of the Year. Speaking to Sam Lansky of Time, Swift said, We're just proud of each other. When discussing Kelsey, she also explained how they initially started hanging out and getting to know each other after Kelsey talked about her on his podcast. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on. Blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell. We started hanging out right after that. So we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for because we got to get to know each other. By the time I went to that first game, we were a couple. I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game. We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date, Kelsey spoke about the process of trying, and failing, to get Swift a friendship bracelet during her stop on the Eras tour in Kansas City over the summer, 
This led to what initially seemed like a running bit on the New Heights podcast about Kelsey courting Swift, but that eventually turned into a real thing between the two when she started showing up to Kansas City Chiefs games beginning in week three against the Chicago Bears, Swift. Told Lansky she doesn't know how the television cameras find her in the stadium. There's a camera, like, a half mile away, and you don't know where it is, and you have no idea when the camera is putting you in the broadcast, so I don't know if I'm being shown 17 times or once. I'm just there to support Travis. I have no awareness of if I'm being shown too much and pissing off a few dads, brads, and chads, leaving aside that it wouldn't be very hard very hard for even an inexperienced production crew to find one of the most famous people alive sitting in a suite at an NFL stadium, Swift has taken in her share of games this season to watch Kelsey, Swift called the sport awesome and she's been missing out my whole life for not watching it. She's been in attendance at five Chiefs games this season, most recently on Sunday night at Lambeau Field, Kansas City's 27-19 loss to the Green Bay Packers was the first time the reigning Super Bowl champs were defeated with the Grammy winner in the stadium. After keeping tight-lipped about their relationship, Taylor Swift finally spoke up about her romance with Travis Kelsey and reflected on the spotlight they have been receiving since they started dating. Swift, who was named Time's 2023 Person of the Year, spoke with the magazine regarding the publicity her current and past relationships have received. Still, she clarified that things are different with the Kansas City Chiefs' tight end, Taylor Swift reflects on the spotlight amid her romance with Travis Kelsey, according to Swift, they are proud of each other amid the intense media spotlight, especially whenever she attends his team's games over the past few months, when you say a relationship is public. That means I'm going to see him do what he loves, we're showing up for each other, other people are there and we don't care, she declared. The opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone, Swift also commented on having too many cameras on her when she watches the games. She reportedly does not know how people know what suite she is in and how many times she is being shown during the broadcast, despite those appearances, she clarified that her focus has always been on Kelsey before praising how awesome football is and that she missed it out her whole life. Previously, Kelsey praised his girlfriend during his interview with Wall Street Journal for its cover story. At that time, he said, I've never been a man of words. Being around her, seeing how smart Taylor is, has been f mind blowing. I'm learning every day. Obviously, I've never dated anyone with that kind of aura about them, I've never dealt with it. But at the same time, I'm not running away from any of it. It came after body language expert Judy James explained to the Mirror that Swift has the ability to blend and ingratiate more in Kelsey's latest games to ensure that her appearance will not affect his games. By dressing and acting like a WAG slash fan, she was letting him know that her own profile wouldn't create problems if they did hit it off, she added. She jumped, yelled, and celebrated harder than any other person up there in the stands, and she looked casually chic and young, like a teenager with a crush dot.